Connor's 13 years old today. He just turned 13 in June. He gets to play with his brothers. He goes, he has an adaptive bike that he absolutely loves that brings him a lot of joy. If the weather's nice, we love to go for walks on the beach and he loves to, I walk him down onto the sand so he can put his feet in the water. So little things like that bring him a lot of joy. I started first noticing changes with Connor compared to his older brother, my first son. Pretty immediately, I would say, the first few days of life where he wasn't sleeping, he wasn't eating well, um, he was crying constantly. When he was three years old, um, the neurologist felt that there really wasn't much more they could try for him or really much more they could do for him. They had run every test that they had access to and they didn't feel that Connor would be here much longer, that his brain and body wouldn't be able to tolerate that high level of seizure frequency. Um, and they placed him on hospice services because they just had nothing left to offer us. He was ultimately diagnosed when he was almost five years old with an SCN2A mutation. So the disease still doesn't have a name. It's a very critical gene in the body that um, controls a lot of different things. I was at the Tides conference in San Diego and I had watched Stan present and I went up to say hello to him after the conference and he said he was about to start a foundation and when he was describing what it was, it was almost to a T what my son would need. As soon as I was able, um, we were the very first applicants to Enlorem. Enlorem's mission is to take advantage of the technology that we created uh, under my leadership at Ionis to bring help and, and treatments to patients with nanorare mutations. Patients with nanorare mutations are patients who have diseases caused by mutations that are often unique to them. That is, a single patient in the world has that mutation. So we're focused on nanorare patients. We take the mutation that they have, we design a new medicine for it. Modern ASOs, the medicines we make are very potent and very long acting. They're also very stable. And we try to get that to that patient within 15 months. And uh, then we provide that medicine for free for life, for free for life. Our mission is to help every patient that we possibly can. You know, their mutation becomes a unique drug target in our R&D pipeline. That's significant. It is the right thing to do for the right reason. It is human beings at their best coming to the aid of other human beings. What more could you ask out of life than that? What more could you do that would be better? Nothing. I think that anything's possible. I feel like that's always sort of been like my belief since I've had Connor um, that like anything is possible literally like we're here with Enlorem with a potential treatment that could completely change everything about his quality of life. Yeah, I, I, the word hope just comes to mind. I like the word miracle too.